I wouldn't want to be like you. Oh, that's awesome, Alan Parsons. But yeah, what's up, guys? Dr. GTA, and I'm back in GTA 5 today. Um, we're going to be just covering GTA 5 news, but today we're going to be covering something awesome in the PC-related news section of gaming, and that is related to GTA 5 as well. Now, as you can see, I'm playing GTA, and I'm online messing around, but we're just going to have this as my background video as we're going to be talking about this awesome leak. As allegedly has been happening, there's been a new graphics card coming out that's supposed to be the ultimate 4K graphics card to run 60 frames per second steady at Ultra and GTA 5. Finally, a single card that can run it. And it's supposed to be rumored to be the 1080 and it's supposed to have 8 gigs of memory. Um, it's supposed to be twice the performance of a 980 Ti and around the same price point of the 980. It's supposed to feature awesome amount of 8 gigabytes of RAM. It's supposed to be really really epic pretty much better than the 980 ti in all aspects of everything and actually supposed to use half the wattage of uh two 980s which would be like one 980 ti but yeah it's pretty sick and let's go ahead and get into this if you want to see this make sure you leave a like because we have a lot of stuff to cover about this this card including what um is actually going to be released screenshots leaked screenshots of the actual card so if you guys want to see the alleged leaked screenshots of this card make sure to leave a like on this video because we're about to show you the official screenshots of the shroud and everything that have been released and they're confirming that this is actually going to be a 1080 and what the official name is and everything like that um so first off let's go ahead and get into it um basically Here's the screenshot, as you can see on your screen. It looks like kind of like a robotic 1080, but it looks really awesome to me. I really like it. Um, I really like the kind of new futuristic look, and it's alleged, but they said it was fake. And then now, rumored, there's this new Chinese site that posted this photo, which is the official screenshot of it, completely enclosed. It's supposed to use one six or eight pin power connector for the entire thing. That's going to be mon monstrous when it comes to playing, like, that's like not even any power at all when you're playing your game. That's insane. You know, now you guys are wondering if you should upgrade to Pascal or Polaris or just buy what's out right now. I would just give it till the end of May because apparently between the mid-May and the end of May, they're going to be announcing the graphics card and have all these types of releases for the graphics card as well. And they're also going to have a lot of other things for this graphics card like specs and what it's rumored to look like and all that other stuff. But they've already kind of leaked some of that. And um, they're going to actually have the alleged, uh, the um, you know, the 1080 Ti come out with it as well. And then later, the 1070 will be coming out just as they normally do. They do the 1080 and then the Ultimate Edition, which is the 1080 Ti or the X80. And then they come out with the, the lower class, you know, one for all the typical consumers that want to buy the car but don't want to spend too much. And if you're wondering the price on this, the price is going to have to fill a gap, so they're not going to go too high on the prices. So don't think it's going to be that high. The price is alleged to be between $549 and $1,100, and that's for 1070 all the way to 1080 Ti. So keep that with a grain of salt, but I rec I, I still think it's going to be about five to $600 for a 1070, and I think the 1080 is going to be around like 700 and then the 1080 Ti might be like 800 or you know something like that at most. I don't think it's going to be no $1,100. But um, yeah, this is pretty much all the information I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be getting the 1080 or the 1080 Ti as soon as it drops. And we'll be doing some uh, some awesome benchmarks with that as well. It'll be pretty cool to see what it does compared to GTA 5 right now in a 980 Ti. And you know, just give you guys what you want. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do when I get the graphics card. Because when I get this card, I was thinking about putting it in a blender and shredding it up, you know making a video with it, or I was thinking about doing some benchmarks, but let me know what you guys think I should do about this graphics card coming out. Um, another thing is I would just wait until end of May because the graphics card release date is gonna be around Computex, which is at the end of May, around May 26th to about June 4th. And I would say that that's around the time the graphics cards will be released, and that means the 1080 and the 1080 Ti will probably be released by that point. Um, now that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm going to go play some more GT online and get involved with some challenges. But thanks for watching, guys. Again, if the video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you later. Peace. Holy fucking weapon. shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. Stop trapping. What is up, everybody? Suck GT. Fuck gun. Gun. And this one is going to be the LASD marked unit. You're going to move in, you're going to take the LED light bar on it. As you can tell, I've been going through light bars all over the place. It's really nice. This model is available on the 